you saw in the clip there. Um, if you want to optimize and take it uh, to another level, expose yourself to red light therapy. Yes. Um, and the juve um, that we were using in the documentary, there's a massive amount Which of it. Which is testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning, but it's also full body uh, red light therapy. Uh -huh. which has massive amount of benefits. And there's so much data out there um, that isn't being picked up on or covered. So obviously half the viewers right now are like, what, that's testicle tanning, that's crazy. But my view is, okay, testosterone levels like crash and nobody says anything about it, that's crazy. So why is it crazy to seek solutions? It's not crazy to seek solutions. And I think um, I was recently exposed to a term called bromeopathy. And I think there's a lot of people out there right now that um, are don't trust the mainstream information and they're take taking their own research into their own hands. We already know what you're going to say. Um, yeah, that was a segment on mainstream media, a news network telling you to tan your balls. I don't know how to even process that, but I feel like even if you don't know anything about human biology, you should just have at least the bare minimum amount of common sense to instinctively think that's a little bit sus, sounds a bit sketch. Um, so this, by the way, is the only picture that I could find of Tucker Carlson uh, tanning his balls, uh, but it's a uh, bromeopathy. Now, I love that they're calling it bromeopathy because homeopathy is fake and dumb. It's pseudoscientific. So I would call this bromeopathy in response to seeing that segment, but he did that for us a name that we would call it to make fun of it and mock it. He's saying, oh, no, this is like bromeopathy. Okay, this, in my opinion, is like goop for men. I, I just, I feel like what is happening, <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a national news network, and, and this isn't substantive. This is probably the, the least harmful segment that Tucker Carlson has done on his program in a while, but still, it's so stupid that the following guest on that program reacted that, to that segment and uh, basically expressed the same sentiment that I'm expressing, just flabbergasted by the sheer stupidity of Tucker Carlson. Uh, now let's get to a response from a personal trainer who wrote an article for Lifehacker who explains, so how is testicular tanning supposed to benefit you? One hypothesis is that red light helps mitochondria produce more ATP, and that this helps the Leydig cells in the testicles to produce more testosterone. Another hypothesis centers around vitamin D, which some studies have shown is low in men who also have low testosterone. But there are problems with these ideas. To name one obvious one, vitamin D isn't produced specifically in scrotal skin. You can increase yours by sunning any body part you choose, or simply by eating more food that contains vitamin D, such as fatty fish. And when it comes to the effects of red light on mitochondria. This may be true in skin cells. The testicles are internal organs and light doesn't penetrate skin by more than a few millimeters tops. There are light therapy treatments that work on the skin, but there's not really a plausible way for your testes to increase their production of testosterone just because there's light shining on the skin of the scrotum. Yeah, now that was a more thoughtful response, but others chimed in and they basically put it more bluntly. This is a fucking stupid idea for obvious reasons. Testicles need to be four degrees cooler than the body's temperature to make healthy sperm. Heating them up makes absolutely no sense. This person says there's a reason testicles are outside the body, yet Tucker Carlson wants his alpha males to heat those babies up. Yeah, again, I feel like you don't have to know anything about how your body works or even how your own testicles work to hear that and think, mm, doesn't really sound like a good idea. But if you can see that dumb conversation take place and Tucker doesn't push back, in fact, he embraces the uh, romeopathy, then if he's this wrong about that, then perhaps you can put two and two together and deduce that maybe he's wrong about other things as well. Now, that segment was so stupid that Tucker's next guest, as I alluded to earlier, Kid Rock, reacted by basically mocking what happened. And even though Tucker Carlson tries to play along, he actually seriously tries to sell this idea to Kid Rock, but Kid Rock, as stupid as he is, wasn't having it. Ladies and gentlemen, so, so our, dude, our cameraman, dude, I, I think stop. Tom Fox is in your house right now. Yeah, he is, dude, stop, testicle tanning, come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard anything open, that good open in a long your, time. Open I'm your starting, mind, Bobby. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a punk rock band and it's called testicle tanning. That's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think
think you'll be massively successful. But I mean, don't you think at this point when so many of the therapies, the paths they've told us to take have turned out to be dead ends that have really hurt people, why wouldn't open minded people seek new solutions? I, I don't know what the hell is going on in this world. I'm not even sure if I understood that question, but some days I just want to stop this planet and let me off. Like, Yeah, that really, uh, that says it all. Kid Rock saying testicle tanning, come on, right? <laughs> I feel like it, it's on its face so absurd that you don't really have to even respond thoughtfully. Like people shouldn't have to write articles explaining why this isn't really the best idea, but here we are. You know, I'd say probably like at least in the short term, this is less harmful than the anti-vax misinformation that Tucker Carlson promotes, but still not not really a good idea. But Tucker Carlson said, why wouldn't open minded people seek new solutions? First and foremost, the idea that conservatives like himself are open minded is just hilarious because you're not open minded. You're the most closed minded people in the country and seeking new solutions is something that everyone supports, especially when it comes to the medical community uh, and, and scientific research and data. But I want the experts to do it and not some dude on television who's promoting romeopathy to seek the new solutions. The new solutions should be ones that are backed by evidence and data, not ones that you pull out of your ass. I mean, I could say, you know, if you want to increase your testosterone, then what you should do is take a really big book and close it on your nuts. And that's gonna increase your testosterone level. It's a new solution, possibly, it's a hypothesis. Does that mean it's a good one? No, not necessarily. And if you have common sense, you should think, wow, maybe closing a book on my nuts might actually not be the best way to promote increasing testosterone. I, I just feel like you have to have a bare minimum level of common sense in this world to survive. And most reasonable people will see that and think that sounds stupid. And if you don't, then perhaps, you know, it's evident why you get duped by people like Tucker Carlson in the first place, right? So, I mean, if Kid Rock acknowledges that a Tucker Carlson segment is very stupid, um, if you're dumber than Kid Rock here, maybe you should, uh, I don't know, reevaluate your life, pick up brain training games on the nintendo switch or something i'm not really sure but if kid rock sees it and you don't then i feel like you should feel bad unironically like i don't want you to feel bad but you probably should think wow uh i need to educate myself on just things <laughs> more generally speaking but i'll leave that there uh don't tan your balls fellas don't do it i'm gonna come do not come come Come, 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 come